hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven you in class again today how have you been on today's video we are going to show you how to calculate volumes or how to compute volumes so today's video will deal with what volume computations now there are different methods to determine the volume of any irregular object uh, maybe the volume of earthwork or the volume of a dam or any other um, quantity whose volume you want to determine so on today's video we are going to show you how to determine the volume of a water body or the water in a lake using the what using trapezoidal formula or the trapezoidal rule now before we continue there's actually a training coming up and it's hosted by Solving Solutions, right? You would have been seeing it on different platforms, definitely our platforms, or maybe some of you helping us to share it and, you know, publicize. Now, it's a four-day JS training where we are going to use or maybe apply QGIS. So, um, we are having the training on Telegram video chat on the 5th and 6th of February and then 12th and 13th of February. You know it's actually saturdays and sundays for those um four days right so it was supposed to go for 20 dollars but then um, we have actually reduced it to the promo price so the earlier you go for it the better it is so we have actually reduced it to what to five dollar now you are going to learn how to easily download topo maps from anywhere how you can successfully import any raster data just like the topo map how to get like coordinates on your map grading or whatever we want to call it how to use it for georeferencing downloading ship files and as many information as you can see what on the flyer so the link to registering for that particular training or for this training rather is still on the description section where you can actually support us by um, paying for that um, training thank you very much we have um the area of the um would i say of the different contour values at the different levels so we have the volume the area of the water at those different levels so we're having from 270 to 290 as the range of what the contours now the different areas were also given to us and they said we should calculate the volume of the water in the lake between 270 meters and what 290 meters now the 270 and the 290 is actually the the difference between the top and the what and the um the bottom of the contour right good now from the question we have seen that the common interval h is five meter how do we get the common interval the common interval is actually the difference between the successive contour values we have 270 and 275 right and the difference is actually five we have 275 and 280 that's actually 5 so 285 and 290 so we can see that what our common difference is what 5 so that's the first deduction we have from the question now using the trapezoidal formula which goes with v equal to a1 plus a n divided by 2 and we said a1 is actually the first area and in this particular question our first area is what 2050 square meters right that's 2050 and then a n is what the last area and our question is actually what 31,500 square meters, right? Good. So substitute and then plus okay the, the other areas. That means we have a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 until you get to a n minus one. That means the last value minus one. Good. The last value minus one. When we substitute the values, we have what 250 plus what 31,500 divided by two, then plus the other areas, which you can also which, are, which you can see. At this point right 8400 13600 then um, 24600 right so these are the other values so times the common interval this h is actually very very important in the formula times what the common interval which is this h so by the time you do your simplification 2050 plus 31500 should be able to give you 33550 divided by 2 plus the other areas multiplied by 4 so when you simplify further you have something like this so the sum of everything is what 66075 now that 66075 multiplied by 5 will now give you what the area 
of the water in the lake the area of the what the area of the water in the lake as it was asked to what to determine right in our next video or maybe subsequently on the channel we are going to compare this volume we just got with the volume we are going to get using another method right because there are different methods of determining or maybe trying to compute for volumes so we have used the trapezoidal method or the trapezoidal formula or the trapezoidal rule which is actually stated here so subsequently we are going to use another method on this same question and then we are going to see what the volume would be so maybe you can do that before we get to that point so that you can be able to see that the values are not really far apart so yeah thanks for coming to class we we hope that um, we have been able to provide solution to this um, particular solving problem and we also expect that um, you also participate um, in the GIS training that is being organized by solving solutions you will see the flyer in this video and some other information on the description section of this video so find time to attend the training and you will be glad you did so until we see you have a nice time and keep being good at what you're doing bye